Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with another package in the mail. One of these dreaded local padded bags. Um, now hopefully everything in here will be okay. Now these are from the same seller that I had a lot recently. Um, I need to generally pack up the stuff inside the um, padded bag quite well, so I reckon it'll be fine. So sorry, there is a fair bit of packing on the inside here. Use that trusty packing knife. So it's more titles for one of my retro computers, and one that um, you know I haven't had any titles for for ages, and um, now I find you know quite a few within a short space of time. So I might as well grab them while they're at a decent price too. So they're for the Sega SC3000 computers and SG1000 console by Sega. Um, and here we go, he's champion tennis, the label is in excellent condition. Um, I think I got that for like two dollars. There's another boxing. Sorry, probably didn't slip down, just tug the title while I'm... Okay, so kudos to the person, they have wrapped them up really well, they've used that really strong sticky tape too. Okay, so that one was Champion Tennis. This one is Championship Soccer. So just loose cartridges, but um, just for these old systems, it's just great getting titles for them regardless. Uh, now the next couple. They're actually boxed ones. Right, and this one is Championship Boxing. So this is what the titles look like in Japan. Um, so there are actually three different types of boxes. Uh, red uh, labels on the side, which you can see th um, three of on my shelf back there were European Australian release. There are ones with yellow writing on the side, um, the same size. I'm not sure which region they were released in. And then you had the Japan um, small box games. I think the yellow ones would have been Japan big box game releases, whereas this is the small box. And I'm not sure whether every title came in both sizes. So we've got a little boxing game. I haven't seen this one at all. And I don't think I've seen the other two at all either. So these will be very good. Just take this out. So it's all complete inside. So we have the cartridge, which looks very good condition. And the manual, which are just little uh, blue and white things. We've got a couple of things in there, so very keyboard orientated by the looks of that. Although they show the um, original Sega joysticks in there as well. So I won't try and repackage that while I'm undoing. So we've got a couple more. Okay, so this is actually the main one that I was bidding on. Uh, and then I decided oh, well, I might as well get some more while I got the chance because he lowered the prices on some of them. But this one is another Sega My Card, uh, just loose, but that's fine. And um, it is Elevator Action. I'm really curious to see what Elevator Action is like on this system. Um, I mean, I have Elevator Action for the MSX, but it's an MSX2 game, not an MSX1 game. So it'll be interesting to see what this is like. Quite good artwork on there. And I'm uh, looking forward to playing that one. But we also have another two. Now the next one, I can see through the um, bubble wrap, is actually a title that was chosen to be converted to the ColecoVision. Um, I don't have it in one of the, as one of the homebrews, and it is Girls' Garden. And it's actually quite a good fun game. I believe I've had a quick go at a ROM or seen a video of somebody playing 
camera's playing up, sorry. Of um, playing the Coleco version. So interesting, slightly, you know, so a slightly different uh, game. Let's see what we've got inside. So we have the cartridge, and that seems in perfect condition. There's virtually nowhere on these cartridges at all. So similar um, artwork as what's on the front. Uh, no manual for that one. Just double checking. And then we have one more. And I think this title might have made it across to the MSX, or I could be mistaken, but it's actually Flicky. And this one's complete. Um, looks a little bit like a mappy game, actually. That's where I might be confusing it. So if my the screenshot on the back will come into focus. Or maybe not. There we go. It's a bit of a, a platformer where you've got to go around and collect all of the uh, little birds and save them from the cat. That pretty much seems very like um, a game. Oh, it's for the Famicom, that's right. What I've got recently. So, no manual of this one, but we have the cartridge and it looks in really good condition. So, all titles I didn't have. Um, so very nice to receive those, and um, yeah, we can do some gameplays on a system you don't see many gameplays for, and it's a, it's a great little system at that. So let's go give them a go. Right, here we go with the first cartridge, Championship Tennis. It's going through a demo mode at the moment. So I'll just press start. Playing a bit of an intro tune. So I'm controlling the blue player. Okay, so I've got an auto serve. Uh, auto hit as well, by the looks of it. There's prob probably a. Whoops. Oh dear. Fault. Oh, yeah. Probably should have let that one go. <laughs> no, I'm, as people who watch my videos know, I never am very good at. Um, uh, uh, never am very good at tennis games. I mean, this one looks pretty basic. Hmm. I'm not doing very well here. You can use either button to. To serve and I'm done. All right, we'll let the computer serve to me. Ah, uh, here we go. There we go. God, I don't know what I'm supposed to do to to win here. No, coming in too close to the um, net or something. These early Tennis games can be quite difficult to win points in. I won my first point. Surprise, surprise. Oop. And it's done me again. Alright. Not a bad little entry little tennis game. Um, I think I got that one for $2. So, excellent bargain. Uh, let's try the next one. Okay, next we have Champion Soccer. Uh, one player start. Okay, so you just... Yes. Play. Demo mode here, so uh, yeah, better do amateur. I'm um, hopeless at these. Okay, quite colourful. Okay, I'm controlling the players with a little bit of red in them.
Okay, not exactly sure what I'm doing. So I get a kick out. I'm just unsure whether I'm controlling. Oh yeah, I was controlling that. I've just kicked it down the field. You seem to press button 2 to change players. But it's a little hard to tell uh, which player you're controlling. Oh, somebody's getting in the net then. Okay, I'm going to kick out again. Whoops. <laughs> Very simple soccer game. I'll just have one more go. Now that I've sort of figured out. Ah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't really say I figured out the controls, would you? It's a simple little soccer game, and I reckon. Oh! Um, once you've figured out the controls, it probably would have been. These games tend to be extremely unfair against the computer, but at least both of these games, the tennis and the soccer, have against computer mode, so if you didn't have any friends over, you could have a bit of a go. Oops. So I can get the ball off them. I have a kick at it. But all I seem to do is kick it. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah. So, a bit of practice, a bit of familiarity with the controls. Probably be an okay um, sports game for the time, 983, so not too bad, I suppose. Alright, let's try the next game. Right, next title is Girls Garden, which is supposed to be quite a good game. Um, the um, Coleco conversion of this very game, very ROM, was quite popular. So this is our house. I don't know what I did then. Right, it gives me some more time or something. Okay, so we go and pick up harvest plants. Okay. Whoops. Obviously we're not allowed to let the bears touch us. So, so far I've managed to gain 150 points. Yeah, it's got very cute, so you've got a... Whoops, I've got in the water. Okay, don't fall in the water. Don't let the bears... Why is there a skull there? Just so gotta wait for our heart to come to us. So the, the pots are definitely used to distract the bears. Okay, so I didn't get very good at all. Let's have another go. Once again, I've not read the instructions or anything useful like that. Okay, that to the, give the pot to the bear. Go get the flowers. Right, that bee dropped that. Supposed to get the flowers that are in full bloom, obviously. Stay away from that. So we've managed to collect. Mm. There we go. There's one. So I suppose I should be leaving. Get rid of those ones. Yeah, you've, got to, you've got to wait for them to bloom. So you've got to grab the flowers at the right time. Here. 
seem to have run out of pots of honey at the moment. Yeah, I think everything scrolls around. Do I now safe spot? No. I don't think I can get up. Whoops. Right, there's a flower down there. Okay, I've only got two more to get now. I've used all my pots of honey. So it's quite a cute little Japanese game, this one. So I've got my dog bark or something random. Okay, let's... Okay, so when we died, we lost some... Some of our flowers. sure of, you know, some of the ins and outs. Um... <laughs> Cupid's Arrow. Yes, yeah, a very cutesy little game, that one. Very interesting. Alright, let's try the next title. Next game is called Flicky. Vicky's nest up the top there. Oh, that was pretty bad. Oh, we can't let's do it. Oh, well, we've got back to the start screen. Quite an interesting little, nice, colourful start screen. Let's try again. That was our practice, shall we say. 
jumps. Not much um, tolerance in the jumps. But I take it we've got to return the um, the chicks to that to that top section. Oh, there's that game over again. No. practice but that's quite a cool little game uh, it's actually quite entertaining I am sure there's either Flicky on the MSX and it was called something else on the Famicom and I got it recently um, very similar games very similar games so awesome all right uh, last game to try is the um, card game elevator action uh, the championship boxing it was actually listed as not working I forgot about that but I've got the box in the manual and the cart and I needed a cartridge shell for my um, multi-card that I have for this anyway. So, all good. And I'll get another loose copy to complete that copy off another time. And we'll have a gameplay that at a later stage. So, alright, let's try the card game. Okay, work first go. Elevator action for the Sega. So, it'll be interesting to see what this is like. So the idea of elevator action is to um, make your way down the building using the elevator, which you can control, control a little bit. You know how to touch the guys and then allow them to shoot you. So it's a bit harder though normally. Um, like that and you can go in the rooms Ooh, that's close. Well, you can touch the guys it's more that the other one must just shot me okay and you can shoot the lights too now there are escalators There we go, that's what we're looking for. See the door. 
to this door here with a red one. Okay. Yeah. A bit finicky on letting you go in. So that's got one of the um, secret documents we're after. So there we go, 500, 500 points. You've got to collect a certain amount of those to be able to exit the building. done for a game, I think that's game over, for a game that's on, um, you know, MSX1 level chip technology and, this, and the Sega. The, um, the MSX2 version that I have um, is better than the Famicom one, so let's have another go. It's about the only thing you don't have there, you don't have him coming down on the, um, on his rope. Starting progress this time. A little hard to see the guy's head sometimes. Right. There's our first red door. We'll be facing facing the right way. It's very finicky on. Um, you to go through the doors. Right, yeah, I didn't want to lose my life after getting my first document there. Approximation of the repetitive. Oh, how did he sneak up on me? On the repetitive tune that does play during this game, which can be a little more annoying. So I almost died then. Oh, we are down to 4:15, so we are getting close. Closer down to floor 13. I mean, this is a very playable version of this game. Come on, elevator. Let's get out of here. Okay. Ooh, here we go. There's another one. Just got to be on your. Guard for somebody to pop out of a door at any moment, and then obviously, when you come out on the door, it's the elevator. And I said you can control the elevators. Oh, I made it to floor six, so I almost made it out of the building. So you get to the bottom of the building, you hop in your car and you drive away, and then you start the next part of building. All right, that was a really good um, bunch of games for the Sega um, SC3000 computers and SG1000 console system. Don't actually have one of the consoles, but maybe get one in the future, but I do have both of the computers, so it doesn't really matter. Some absolutely excellent games came out for the system. Um, only a limited number were released outside of Japan, uh, mainly in Australia and New Zealand of all places by John Sands. Um, so um, there's actually some quite good games and that's why a lot of the Coleco homebrew community have co concentrated on um, converting some of them um, over to the ColecoVision as well. Plus they're easier to port because the hardware is virtually identical, even the same sound processor, just a little bit different amount of RAM. Um, I hope you've enjoyed these gameplays. 
always nice to get um, games for one of the um, more obscure uh, retro computers, especially in such good condition as well. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks to all my subscribers, and I'll catch you next time.